This is Paul Staff, and you are watching Brutally Delicious with Bruce Moore. Hey, welcome to Brutally Delicious. I'm Bruce Moore, and today we've got another great show in store for you. Once again, we're going to travel the globe. This time we're going to find ourselves landing in Israel, and we're going to speak with the guys from Distorted Harmony. And if you stay tuned, we're going to see what they have cooked up for us today. Hello everybody and welcome to Brutally Delicious. We are Distorted Harmony. My name is Iggy, I'm the bass player. This is Yoav, the keyboardist and composer. Today we're going to prepare a vegan meal, since we're vegans. Uh, first we're going to make uh, yams with lentil stew on top, with pecans. And uh, we're going to make a dessert, uh, banana foster. For those not familiar with the band Distorted Harmony, can you tell us a little bit about yourselves please? Well, we're a progressive metal band from Israel. We combine complex harmonies and complex rhythmics uh, with beautiful melodies and harmonies. But actually, in order to get a full distorted harmony experience, you really have to see us live. This is a totally different thing. Now we're going to slice the yam. Your full length disc Utopia was released about a year ago or so. Uh, now that it's been out for a little bit of time, are you still happy with it? And what's been the uh, reaction to it so far? Well, uh, actually the responses are great. Many people really love this album. We get a lot of positive critics and reviews, which by the way you can uh, find some of the stuff on our website www.distortedharmony.com uh, another amazing thing that many people that I know personally that don't like heavy metal or any other heavy music came to me and they're telling me that they're surprised uh, how they like, like our music. Now we're going to put the yams in a cooking pan. A cooking pan. We're going to do it that way. You guys working on any new material? If so, when can we expect it? Um, yes, we have. We started working on new materials and new songs for the new album. Uh, we expect to get uh, into pre-production sometime next month. And we would like to say that we expect to start recording by the end of the year. Okay, now we're gonna drizzle some olive oil on top. Olive oil. Thank you. Most welcome, Iggy. Most welcome. And now we're gonna put some thyme on top. And the thyme. <clears throat> That's the thyme. Thyme. Okay, and we're gonna put a little salt. <coughs> salt. But you wanna put really little just to break the sweetness of the yams. That's it. And now we put it on a preheated oven on a 180 uh, Celsius degrees for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, we're going to prepare our uh, lentils stew. So first of all, we're going to chop a carrot. One medium-sized carrot. What's your writing process like? Do you guys all write together, or is it more the effort of one particular member of the band? Well, most of the music is written by Yoav. He sends us the sketches on the internet. 
and uh, then we learn it. We get into the uh, rehearsal, and we work it. We work and uh, we work on it. We change stuff. We work on the arrangement. And that's it. Now we're going to boil a little bit of water. There you go. Some water put into mine. <laughs> now the carrot goes to the water. We're going to keep it on a high heat. And now we're going to chop the onion. An onion. When you're writing, are you writing with the live setting in mind, or is that not even an issue? Writing a song just for the song's sake. First of all, yes, uh, we do try to keep the live flow in mind when we work and when we compose, and. It's so easy to add more and more these days when you can get lost with all the possibilities, things you can add when you compose, arrange and record. And so yes, we do keep the live setting in mind when we work. One more thing I, um, I noticed when I started composing new materials is that I write for the band as opposed to Utopia which was written before the band was formed. And it's a very exciting and new way of composing and I'm sure it will be the Now after something like five minutes, we're going to add the onion. Give it a little stir. Do you have any rituals before you hit stage? If so, what are they? Well, stretches, a lot of stretches. Handbanging for more than an hour really hurts the next morning, really. Uh, but usually, uh, Try to use the time for rest and sometimes to sleep before I uh, go up to stage. Resting is, is important, really. Now we're gonna put one cup of lentils and I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper, stir it, and then cook it. Now let's add two cups of water. Cover it and let it boil. And when it boils, just uh, move it to low heat and let it cook for something like between 20 minutes to 25 minutes. No, so, so. Now while everything is cooking, we're gonna make our dessert, a banana foster, a bigger version of it. God, may you bring me the bananas, please. A banana? Thank you. Well, usually banana foster is made with bananas, butter, and sugar. This is a bit different. We're gonna put coconut oil and uh, maple syrup. So first, we're gonna chop the bananas for pretty big cubes. 
you have any touring plans? Yes, we do have touring plans. It's our biggest dream to date, I can say that. Our manager, Raya, is working hard on it, as well as uh, the band is constantly practicing and working on our show. And let's just say that things are happening and we're on it, working on, hard on it. First we're gonna put uh, one teaspoon of the coconut oil. And one teaspoon of maple syrup. Let's put it on uh, medium heat. And stir it until it combines. But it will never perfectly combine, but sort of. If you were stranded on a desert island and you could only take three records for the rest of your lives, what would they be? time I'm being asked this question, the answer is a bit different. Uh, but right now I would say that top three would be One Hot Minute by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Bright Size Live with Pat Pettini, and The Laos Dinner Comatorium by the Mars Wolf. Amazing album. Now let's add the bananas to the skillet. Mix it until the bananas are all covered with the coconut maple mixture. Now we're gonna let it fry for uh, five minutes. Now we're gonna chop parsley for the lentil stew. Yeah, would you bring me the parsley? No. Please. One. Do you have any culinary training, or do you just like to cook? Well, actually, I don't have any culinary training, and I don't really actually like to cook, if to be honest. Yeah, but the fact that I'm vegan, it really limits my menu, and just I don't have any other option but to cook to myself many times. So that's it. I have no other option. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna put in a middle dip uh, that made of tahini with uh, silan, which is the date's honey. Prina. One cup of tahini. Prina. And uh, the dates, honey. Thank you, honey. Okay, I'm gonna leave it that way. Enjoy. Okay, the lentils are ready. Now we're gonna add. The chopped parsley. Let's give it a stir. Cover and let it sit for 10 minutes. 
Okay, the yams and the lettuce. Uh, ready? Yes. No. Now the serving. Now let's choose the, the biggest one. What's next for Distorted Harmony? Now we're working on uh, new materials for a second album and we're looking for record label. Uh, we have a few record labels in mind. 